Hello all, in this tutorial we will create a prop in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's open an image in 3ds Max. So go into rendering, view image file and let's open that image. Okay, so we are going to model this in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So for this shape, let's take a cylinder so you have two methods you can use also a spear you can also use a cylinder so let's take a cylinder press f4 after taking a cylinder over here we can reduce the sides of the cylinder we can reduce the sides so just reduce the sides over here so let's take it as around 14 right click convert to editable poly now go inside the polygon and just scale it so now we are scaling over here like this so go on scaling this and make it more smoother so you should scale it in this manner so after you are done with the shape now you have an option over here select all the polygons over here after selecting this there is an option over here called inset let's insert it in the form of my polygons that is by polygon sorry and you can reduce a bit and click ok so after you are done with it just click on bevel same option instead of it by polygons and let's increase this and let's reduce this particular area and click OK so after you are done with the shape as you can see it's perfectly fine over here now the next step over here is select the top polygon and give an inset again and give a bevel so just push this up and reduce the size like this and click ok so after you are done with this click on this polygon select all the polygons say inset again and click ok and now again a bevel option over here so before doing bevel just make sure you make the changes properly so you can reduce it more okay click ok so after you are done with the shape you can just keep it like this over here select this and just extrude it up a bit up and click ok click one more and click ok now the next step over here is select the shape this shape and extrude it a bit out over here and click ok so now go to the top view let's go to the top view or you can take any other view over here and let's change it to local normal and resize and make it straight so using a local normal option you can do this 
click again make it as view now select the polygon option over here and just extrude it up extrude it up like this so now before doing it you can also select this polygons and excluding this so press alt and remove press extrude and extrude by local normal and reduce it as much as you can reduce it do reduce it and click ok that's it so now what you can do over here is you have a shape over here so let's go over here go into this modeling and let's take a swift loop over here use a swift loop make it as view shift it a bit inside and push this a bit outside make it like this so take a swift loop over here put a loop over here take the polygons go into this vertices and push this vertices a bit down and this vertices a bit up like this so take again a swift loop so now what you can do is you can just select all these elements you can select this select this also over here excluding this and there is an option over here called extrude so you can extrude it a bit out and click ok so as you can see over here it's totally extruded we have extruded this part let's put one loop over here and select this and push this up and down so we need to select this also select this this element and extrude it a bit out like this so now you have this part and you can select this particular area and extrude it at the bottom over here like this and click ok and make it as a local normal so you can push it like this over here so you can resize it so as we have uh, done the extrusion part over here in this manner select it properly over here and extrude it So you can resize and make it more straighter so as we are in some kind of angle so we need to manage this particular angle so you can shift this like this over here
or we have a very simple stuff over here what you can do over here is just click over here let's take a shape take a line or you can just push a line like this and right click on it so you got the shape over here and just push the shape down so after you are done with the shape so you can can just rotate it first because it's on a particular angle so let's make it more straighter so select the shape go into rendering enable in viewport and make it rectangle increase this and, in and reduce this so after doing this what you can do here is like you can resize a bit push this a bit up like this over here you can rotate a bit and you can push it over here like this rotate a bit you can select and use the convert to editable poly after doing this you can easily just scale it you can scale this stuff like this over here that's it and you can push this over here just join it like this and you can select and you can attach it with the same kind of element so now the next step over here is a kind of so take a line or take a rectangle make a rectangle like this convert to editable spline and just select this go down and there is option called fillet so you can use this fillet option over here push this over here keep it over here like this use the fillet option and go to the top and you can use this radial and reduce this the thickness that's it and push this inside so after you are done with this you can again take a circle from here like this you can put the circle over here and increase the thickness like this and you can rotate a bit you can just increase the thickness so select it again the whole thing so we have just uh, this looks very small let's let's make it a bit bigger same here make it a bit bigger reduce the thickness of it and let's rotate it to push it out so now you can just change the color of it or you can just attach it so you can just so you can just push it a bit down if you want you can push up it down it's fine go over here let's take a lasso selection over here 
and push this a bit up like this. That's it. So if you want to smoothen it, you can smoothen it. You can use a turbo smooth option to smoothen it, but uh, it doesn't look good. So let's keep it as uh, the hardened surface. And you can make a multiple copies of it, as many copies you want to make. So thanks for watching this tutorial.